Hey guys, Ethan here from Terminal.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to incorporate new themes into your Ghost blog. So Ghost is a cool little blogging platform and this is one of a handful of tutorials we have on how to run a successful Ghost blog on your Terminal.com account. If you haven't checked it out already, I would suggest you go and take a look at the first post in the series uh, which is going to show you how to configure uh, your server properly so that you can follow along with the rest of these tutorials easily. Speaking of tutorials, the uh, information that I'm going to be giving you here in the video comes directly from our Changing Your Ghost Theme article. So feel free to follow along there. Some people like to see information written out, uh, and the code snippets are there as well, which can certainly speed up the process. So in terms of incorporating new themes into your blog, <clears throat> there are essentially two processes. The first option is uh, to find a theme you like, download the packages to your local machine, and then upload them to your virtual machine via some kind of uh, FTP protocol. Um, and that works fine, but the, the second option, which is a lot faster, and this is the one that I'll be showing you, uh, works really well inside Terminal's IDE, and that's just using a simple wget to pull the files off the internet and, uh, and download them directly into your server. So we'll take a look at how to do that real quick right now. Uh, starting here on the, well, we'll start with the command or the terminals console, but ideally if you already have your uh, theme of choice, what you'll do is you'll go to the page uh, where, the, where the files are downloadable. So in this case, we're gonna use the encoded theme and we'll just open up their GitHub page. <clears throat> then you'd, you'd go ahead and open the terminal on which you've built your blog. You'll end up here. So we wanna ensure that we're in the home directory, which we are. And we have our GitHub page here and all you have to do in order to make this work is right click on the download zip button and hit the copy link address option. Oops. So come back over to here <clears throat> inside your terminal and we're going to use wgit and just paste the address of that particular file. Should be really quick. The next thing we're going to do is just unzip Master zip. And all that's left to do is you see this encoded master uh, directory that we just got? We're going to move that into the themes directory of our blog. Super simple. It's a real quick move. We want to move encoded master to the theme directory of our blog. And that's home ghost content themes and then we'll name a directory uh, and coded after the theme that we're moving there and just hit enter you can see the directories disappeared here and if we go to our content themes it's now now resides there so if you go over to your admin page um, for your ghost blog, and if you, by the way, if you haven't seen it yet, we have a tutorial on how to access your admin page. <clears throat> Come on down here to the settings, and your new theme should be listed here, and it is. Now you can see the way that I had the blog set up beforehand. This is the standard Casper theme. Go ahead and change over to this new theme, Hit save, and we should see that reflected virtually instantaneously here on our blog. And there it is. There's our new encoded theme. So, guys, I hope this was really helpful for you. Um, get out there, create something, have some fun, and tune in next time.